gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. It's pizza time again, frozen pizza time, and I will be reviewing a brand new style of Red Baron pizza. Yeah! Brand new style, I'm telling you. This is the Red Baron fully loaded Supreme Pizza. This sucker weighs in at over a pound. So it has 100% real cheese on it and the fully loaded, it, it's like a pan pizza. It's like the Pizza Hut pan pizzas, the big thick ones. So the Supreme Pizza consists of pepperoni, sausage, green and red peppers and onions. On the back it says quality pizza since 1976, crispy on the outside, airy on the inside, a savory golden brown crust loaded with toppings. Now prep directions are interesting. They give you a pan direction of cooking it and a rack method. We're gonna do it on the rack. Uh, it says to preheat the oven for 400 and bake the pizza for 25 to 28 minutes. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Let's hit into the old nerd kitchen and make this thing up. Let's take this out of the box and see what is inside. That is a hefty pizza. Look how thick that is. Wow. That has a good amount of ingredients on it, even though it's kind of all over the place. So we'll go ahead and adjust that pepperoni, make it a little more evenly distributed. But there's a lot of pepperoni on this. It's got a lot of stuff. I like that. So the 400 degree oven just went off. I am going to be using my handy dandy pizza slapper there to put it in and take it out and uh, let's put it in first. So normally a uh, frozen pizza takes usually about 15 minutes, something like that, but this, because of the girth of this thing, the, all the amounts of, of pepperoni and onions and everything else on it, um, and the thickness of this, this takes almost a full half hour. But, you know, Grandma did always say, good things come to those who wait. So, we're waiting and hoping it's good. And check on it at the seven minute mark. That is looking pretty nice. 2,000 years later. And there it is. Now I took this out at 25 minutes. It started to look a little bit done, a little bit overdone for me. So it looks really nice. All the pepperoni here, all the ingredients on top look really well done. The cheese is melted well and look at the Thickness, holy moly, gargonzoli, that's a thick crust. Wow. It's like cutting through concrete almost. That is thick. I don't even know if scissors, pizza scissors, could go through here well. So, definitely a pizza cutter. This is like a Pizza Hut pizza. <laughs> Alright, I got another one since that last one turned out so poopy. I will not concede! Uh, this time I am baking it on the pizza stone to get a more even cook across it and I'm also watching it a little bit closer. I just figured, you know, it, it wouldn't be a fair review if I reviewed it like that, all crusty and black and stuff, so... We're, we're gonna do it right. So I cooked it at the minimum time of 25 minutes at 400. And, and this is the first frozen pizza I have ever felt like I had to watch like a hawk. Cause you figure it, as long as I followed the directions on the box, I should be okay. <laughs> Obviously not the case. So I took this out five minutes early because it was starting to look a little bit too brown around the outside. Got a crunchy cut here. So what I'm looking at underneath uh, started to brown up fairly nice. That's that's pretty much how I like my crust. Definitely not as black as that first one. Okay, smells good. Let's give it a shot.
Do it again. Okay, take this by the numbers. Um, five minutes early, I took it out. The box directions are not good. So you're gonna have to really watch this thing. Pizza flavor. The crust has a, a crunch to it, a nice crunch, but not a, hardly any flavor. The it's it's cheesy, got a good amount of cheese, so you don't really need to add any more like I tend to do. The only ingredient on here that stands out above everything else is the pepperoni. It's it's spicy. It's a spicy pepperoni, so it's got a bite to it. Everything else, I can see it's on the pizza, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can taste the difference between the ingredients, because I, I really can't. There's not that factor of, oh, I can taste the peppers. Oh, I can taste the onions. Oh, I can taste the sausage. It just kind of meshes in with each other. So the damage on the Red Baron fully loaded Supreme Pizza was $6.79. Kind of a hefty price tag for this particular pizza. Even though you'd think it'd be a fairly good price, it's I, I, it's just not. Okay, on the Nerdometer, I would give this here um, I think I would give this a, I think I would give this a low meh. It's just a, a bland pizza, uh, with the exception of that spicy pepperoni. Nothing else stands out about it. It's just, it's, it's just not impressive at all for, especially for the price. There you go, gang, a very tedious and labor-intensive review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching anyway. Appreciate it. Uh, always love gabbing with you guys down in the comments and uh, all the nerdy funky links I have down below in the description including links to the uh, pizza stone and the handy dandy pizza slapper. Those are good things. Check those out and if you do that you too can become a part of the coffee swilling old nerd crony community. Uh -huh. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.